Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Northy and today we are looking into Dodie Fired and Diana Princess of Wales's relationship. So we all know what happened. You don't need me to go over everything that's went on with the new season of The Crown coming out and there being a focus around the death of Diana. I thought it would be an interesting topic for us to look in the cards and see what is what is going on what was the energy like so for dodi i'm using the dragon tarot um for the diana energy i am using the palace of dreams tarot so let's start off with dodi now if you're new here i work in less so i'll do one load of cards for dodi one load for diana i use the celtic cross threads so everybody knows what to expect. Sometimes I might use them though, sometimes I won't. But we'll have a look and see. Did Dodie Fired love Diana? Now Dodie was an Aries. So he would come through as the King of Wands or the Emperor. So let's have a look and see where Dodie was in all of this. Fire and water. Because Diana was a um, star, Diana's star sign is Cancer, so she would be Queen of Cups. Okay. Dodie's initial energy, we have got the Seven of Cups. He had some emotional choices to make. There was lots of things I feel like he had on the table. Lots of different options he had. So we are only seeing and we only see that part of his life that we know how he went out with a bank, if you know what I mean. The Seven of Cups signifies to me that he had probably quite a few irons in the fire. Possibly him and Diana were not exclusive in his eyes. The Page of Cups crossing over. Interesting. There's, there's a disconnect here with romance from Dodie's side. He's got choices, he's got, but there's a disconnect. There was a disconnect here. I'm not saying he didn't love Diana. I'm pretty sure he would have done in his own way. <clears throat> But his own way isn't necessarily maybe what Diana needed with the Page of Cups and reverse crossing over. Eight of Wands. At the time of the relationship, that can well be the media. Messages going very quickly backwards and forwards. The Eight of Wands there shows that he was fully well aware of the media and all eyes on them. Underneath, though, you've got the hanged man. And the hanged man's upright, so he was patient. Though, I don't think he m must have liked committing to anything without giving it a giving it a good kind of... Good, hard, long think, in a way. Three of pentacles working together. This is interesting. Where did he want to go with the relationship? Ten of Cups in reverse. The Moon in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> the Chariot. And the Queen of Swords. All right, then. Um... The Ten of Cups, what he's wanting to do is disrupt. 
disrupt a veneer of happiness, disrupt this, this. I'm going to come out and say it. With this energy and these cards, I'm this. I'm going towards more, more friendship. Maybe friends with benefits. Not set necessarily from Dodie's side, the greatest love of his life. No matter what, <laughs> uh, Mister Alfired said, the Arizona, the Moon in Reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles surrounding that issue. Was this this relationship? Was this them trying to stick a visa up at at the Queen? Was this was this them trying to kind of stir things up for, with the monarchy? Because the Queen of Pentacles that could be Queen Elizabeth. Because she is an earth sign. The moon in reverse shows that there are, <clears throat> there was maladapted emotions, um, deception. I didn't think this would go there, but it's going there. I haven't really thought of this, them, to be honest. I just thought with all the stuff <clears throat> in the press about the crown, and it's just reminded me that we should really have a look into the, them. The Chariot and the Queen of Swords. There's a definite level of strategy there from Dodie's side. There's a lot of other female energy in these cards. And we've got two queens and the Page of Cups in reverse. He is very much a strategist he's up for it he seems to me what he wants is the chariot the chariot of course he met his he met his worldly end in the chariot in a chariot but of course this is him wanting to take life by the reins and just live live it to the fullest and the queen of swords there is definitely is definitely more than there's a lot of female energy in this reading. And with that moon reversed, there's this unhingedness, there's things rising to the top. I think there's going to be more stuff. We'll find out about Dodie and Diana's relationship as the years go on. Let's have a look at Diana. Diana. Diana, what was Diana like in this relationship? Okay. She wanted to take away all of the old and bring in something new. This was a big change for her. This was meant to signify a burning of the bridges. That, that To be honest, we often hear that a lot when we're dealing with Harry and how he's kind of goes scorched earth. So I feel like this is Diana trying to trying to push back a bit the wheel in reverse diana was very superstitious the wheel of fortune in reverse she just doesn't think it's necessarily the right relationship but she's going with it anyway i wonder if some of her astrologers or psychics have told her to maybe go with it even though she's got some some reservations about dodi Maybe she thinks it's the right time, but wrong man. The magician in reverse. The ace of coins in reverse as well. She's not particularly grounded in this relationship. Um, the magician in reverse there. I do think she's had some advice from uh one of her astrologers or a psychic or someone and they're telling her yeah yeah go with Dodie go no Dodie's okay Dodie's all right Dodie's cool 
Um, the Ace of Coins in reverse is an interesting one because it's convenient, but she doesn't realise it's not it's not beneficial beneficial to her if you know what I mean. Five of Wands, that was very much the energy around Diana um, at the time, the press, before she passed, she was having a rough time of it uh, in the press. They loved her and then she, she had a very convoluted relationship, don't get me wrong with the press. There's the Queen of Swords in reverse as well. Okay. We've got the Queen of Swords here upright for Doji and the Queen of Swords in reverse there for Diana. The Four of Coins in reverse as well. It's about loss of control. Interesting that we have. Queen of Wands and the Hermit here. I've said it before and I'll forget, I forget how long ago I said it, but I feel with the public response for to Harry is us the public response to everything that's happened with Harry and Meghan. A big part of that is trying to save Harry from a fate that we can all see written for him. So we see him being very vulnerable. We see him being very um I think the word would be damaged. He doesn't look too great. He doesn't look too good. And he's going down this track of not necessarily realising that he is thinking he is trying to save his mother with Megan. Like Megan as the replacement mum. And he doesn't seem to realise that the newspapers, the public, the royal family are trying to save Harry from, from a catastrophe. Of course, because Meghan is the Queen of Wands and the Hermit would be Virgo, which would be Harry. Queen of Wands being Meghan because she's a fire sign and the, the Wands suite re refer to the fire signs. So that's why I feel like the public interest is so intense with Harry and Megzi because we're all trying to say, Harry, you're making a mistake. Now, that being said, I don't want to veer off too much on Harry and Meghan, but um, Harry has shown his who he is as well. So... That's interesting. That's for us. Like, we're trying to stop another catastrophe. Maybe it's a collective memory. Maybe there's some guilt there with Diana passing. That was a big moment in history. Maybe that's why people always want to kind of like have a say and are so pro William. This, this, this. Everybody's a little bit different with it, I guess. I'm intrigued. She's wanting to avoid heartbreak but she knows that this relationship where if it had come to an end which it looks like it will have done because we've got two different queen of swords here um i don't think she would have been as hurt hurt in fact i don't think she was totally sure on this guy at all we have got the queen of swords we have got the upright for Dodie and the Queen of Swords in reverse for 
Diana. So I do suspect that Dodie had a, another woman in his sights on his mind and that would cause disruption to Diana and she would have been somebody who's either academic, legal minded or she's one of the following star signs so she would be, relate to an air sign and that would be, I forgot my air signs, Gemini, Aquarius or Libra. I'm quite surprised at the two spreads. Wow. So no, it wasn't love. It was convenience. I don't think Diana wanted to stick her tongue out at the world completely I think she just went along with this relationship because it served her at the time she was advised to as well he on the other hand he he complete playboy complete playboy um and he would have moved on to somebody else had had if Diana was alive today she 100% would not be with him he would he would be with 10 different women by this time. So, yeah, the Queen of Swords in reverse. I thought it was strategy, but Dodie had a strategy. Diana didn't. There we go. That's what I see in the cards. Let me know what you think. If you've made it this far in the video, please leave me a blue heart. Um, thank you so much for being here, guys. I do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to hang out with me and listen to my readings. Let me know if there's any readings you would like me to do in the future. Just leave them down below in the comments. I appreciate you all so much. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Bye, everyone.